Hello, my name is Second. We are playing Enigmatica 10. <laughs> and that got updated while we were playing last time. I barely know what's going on. Uh, the first thing we're doing today is something about all this. This is... This can't hold, folks. Um, we have functional storage. So we're going to get into it. We just need a whole bunch of chests. And let's see. Okay. Yes, our good old, good old drawers. We need them. We need them, folks. So there's 16 drawers. What's a drawer? A drawer, these plain ones, hold a lot of one thing. So let's say we have a lot of dirt. We stick it all in here. It holds 518 dirt. Now by default, these things hold, I think it's 2040 actually. We can upgrade them with these. These are multiplicative with each other. Um, so for instance, this isn't like times eight plus times eight. It's times eight times eight. So keep that in mind. These can store an absolute ton of stuff, and we're going to put a ton of stuff in it. Uh, another kind of drawer that we can make. You know, these hold uh, 2,000 and some odd by default. We've also got uh, one by two, which is like a thousand and some a piece, and these two by twos, which I know are 512 a piece. They're pretty cool on their own. We're going to make something with them, assuming we have some stone. Yes, we do. We need some pistons also. All right, I think we have everything. We do not. <laughs> we need nine more pistons. It's not a big deal. Shouldn't be a big deal anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves some compacting drawers. These are awesome. There's eight of them. What they do, let's say we had some iron in some different forms. We got 13 nuggets here. We could, let's put this iron away so I can demonstrate this. We'll just go straight into the stack. We could then take that out in the form of one ingot without uh, having to craft it. And if we have enough iron in there, we could take it out as a block without having to craft it. So we're gonna do that with gold, and we're gonna do it with copper. It'll work with redstone, we've also got Tiny piles of redstone from modern industrialization. It will work with glowstone. So we can take our, our glowstone dust and get uh, get blocks out of it. Also, we can always get four dust per block by using this. Once we get some... Uh, oh boy. Once we get some nether quartz, it's the same. Uh, we could just fill this up with blocks and take it out with quartz. You can't normally uncraft, decraft that in vanilla. Now, it does work with amethyst. That's awesome. Now, another mod that's been added is iron chests. We're going to start by making a bunch of wood to iron upgrades. We're going to shift click them right on there. Now you can see the single chest by itself has an entire double chest's room worth of inventory space available to it. There are several tiers of these. And I'm so glad that we have these because it was getting bad. Now we can also craft these directly if we had some chests. Let's, uh, let's get ourselves some more chests, right? What do we got? We got a bunch of dark oak. We'll go ahead 
and make a bunch of chests. And then we could take these and surround it with iron. And we have eight iron chests. I'm surprised there's no quest for these in the uh, in the storage quest line, but maybe it'll come. Okay, that is so much better. Now there's a lot more we can do with these, but we'll need stuff like quartz. We don't have any, but uh, this is this is a big help. So it looks like quartz is is what's next. So we're gonna take a quick look in the nether. We're gonna hope it isn't too ridiculous. Oh, we're right in the middle of a crimson forest, which would be worse. It could certainly be worse. Let's see. We'll make a, a waypoint for the portal. Now let's see, we got a little warped forest. Got something weird looking. That looks like a bastion. That looks like something down there, but it may just be warped forest. Yeah, I, you know, I've seen a lot worse, that's for sure. So let's, uh, let's just prepare to dig down here. We don't really have much in the way of fire protection, so I'm going to have some blocks in the offhand to place in case. Oh, there we go. Oh, but it's full of piglins. Let's keep heading down. Like, we don't really, uh. We can't really do anything with ancient debris right now. I mean, we could make the scrap. Probably safer to do this than it is to run around outside. Even though we're pretty well armored, but we don't need a whole lot of quartz. But we're gonna have plenty of opportunities goofing around in the Nether. Uh, it looks like Osmium can't mine the stuff anyway. Uh, just by sort of existing, we completed. A number of quests, and we got some more. It looks like we got to choose the thing. Let's see. A little bit of glass. Taboo book and an awakened feather. Okay. A spirit lantern and candle. And we got another awakened feather. And up here. Some golden carrots. And we have something else. More golden carrots. <laughs> and some cooked cod. Very nice. And some cooked rabbit. Is that everything? I think that's everything. So let's see here. We got a little bit of chain mail. <laughs> okay. We got a gauge dropper, another configurator. We got an osmium paxel. That's actually really cool. We might enchant that up. This stuff is old. We got a ton of them. Okay. Not complaining about that. Alright, put the rest of this stuff away. Now since we got those books, we might as well use them. If we throw a little bit of black dye into the spirit fire, we'll get this fancy ink. And then we can use one of the feathers, and where'd those books go? There's a whole ton of them. There they are. A whole bunch of these. We can get ourselves an empty book of binding. I thought we could do this directly, too. Yeah, we can. We just need the bone meal. Oh, I think we might have some out here. Alright, let's grind up some bones. We should be able to toss some right in here. 
and get an increased yield of bone meal. I don't think it'll go into the enrichment chamber. That's yes. Or okay, maybe it will. What does it do in the enrichment chamber? Oh, extra white dye. That's actually kind of cool. That's what we want anyway, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and let it do that with uh with two of the bones. So what is it? Two white dye? Let's see. I didn't know this is how this worked. This is awesome. Yeah, sweet. Now we can make our Philiat book. We're gonna need to bind it, I think. Or is this a gin? Oh, it's a gin book. That's all right. Let's see what it's gonna take. To, I think it's just a different colored dye, not a, a gin. A gin book. Okay, green dye. Now we can actually craft green dye in this. All we need is blue and yellow. There we have it. Uh, we'll just go ahead and grab another feather and another book. Uh, we got another squid ink for some black dye. Awesome. And here's our first gin book. We'll go ahead and bind it. How many, uh, oh, we have just enough. The, uh, the pinnacle that uh, we're going to use is three years higher binding. We haven't even uh, drawn it yet. One of the things we're going to need for it are uh, some spirit attuned crystals. We're going to need four of them. Now, to even make three years higher binding, we're going to need purple chalk, which is going to require some crushed endstone. Now we can get that without going to the end. But we're gonna need to uh, to make Hadron's Lure, which uh, we have laid out here. We got our uh, gold chalk and our white chalk. Let me draw this up. There we go. Now the ritual is gonna take, uh, let's see. Okay, two stone, two dirt. Throw an egg down, and it needs a philiath book. Alright, we got two dirt. We got two stone. Whoops. We got our book. It's not bound yet. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Throw it in there. And we should see some black particle effects. We throw the egg, and it turns to purple. Uh, we will get an endermite here. It'll be hostile. We'll have to kill it. And then we will get one, two, two endstone, which we can then crush. Come on. Yeah. Awesome. Now that should have completed, yeah, it did complete this quest. Now the crusher, we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to use Aviar's circle. I don't know that we've made that one yet. Let's, uh, let's go back to the pentacles here. And then Aviar's, okay. So it's all white. Is this it? I think that's it. Let's get set up. Now we're gonna need a little bit of raw ore. Have any? We have the silver. We have the iron. But we're gonna need gold and copper. So let's head downstairs. I forget what the point of starting to record was. I think I remember. Yeah, I remember. We don't have any gold. We have a little bit of gold over here. It's starting to get a little tight in the uh, in the crafted items chest, so I wanted to make an iron to gold upgrade, so we have a little more room. That's what I was gonna do.
Let's get some copper. Here we are. We've got all of the relevant raw ore, including the raw silver from occultism. Let's hope it works. <sighs> Looks good. All right. Now this, this is very exciting, folks. We are we're we're about to do some of some of what our, our first our first look at what occultism does best, which is weird little guys. Here he is. Yeah! Hey, buddy! There's four tiers of these guys. Our man's, uh, Mad Feloline is, uh, not the fastest crusher. But he is, you know, he does work as an ore-doubling mechanic. Uh, in a while, he will, uh, grow weary of our constant demands. And we'll return to the demon realm. We'll get a sad message in the chat when he does so. The top tier guys, though, the Marids, once they come, they come to stay. But let's see. This guy should spit out some... There it is. Our first crushed endstone. Now, with this and some crushed obsidian, which we could also get from our mans there, we can make some purple chalk. Alright, let's give him some obsidian. There he is. Cultism's recently gotten a lick of paint. The, the new guys, they look absolutely fantastic. I love them. Now we should be able to make some impure white chalk. Our impure purple chalk. Yeah, we'll throw it in there. Now that's the purple chalk. That's not the red chalk. That's the purple chalk. You, you get the red chalk a different way. I had... <laughs> somebody commented twice on the same video. This is ages ago. Um, they, were, they were really upset. <laughs> like, I think they were trying to figure out how to make the red chalk, and they thought I cheated it in, and I had the, the purple chalk. I didn't reply. I felt bad. They were so upset. Anyway, we need a uh, Strigior's higher binding, which I think we can plop down right here. Let's, uh. Never leaves you in. What the. What do you call it? Um, come on. There we go. Alright, let's get set up. Now I just plop the bowls down here. That's that's more than close enough. This one is a little busy. Now we can enchant this chalk, and we're gonna want to do that, uh, especially once we make the red chalk. But uh, for now, this will be fine. We'll just fill all this in. Got a little bit of golden. I wish there was more stuff like this in, in Minecraft, like just like random symbols that you can draw. Alright, the purple chalk. Very fancy. Now what we're going to be doing with this thing is we're going to be building this dimensional storage matrix. We're going to need a gin book, four blocks of quartz, and an ender pearl. Okay. We got our fancy blocks of quartz. We got our soul ender pearl. And we got a gin book. Strigior's higher binding is my, my favorite panicle in the mod to say. It makes you sound cool, like, like you're in Ghostbusters. Go ahead, try it. Strigior's higher binding. Do you feel cool? You sound cool. You should feel cool. There it is. One dimensional crystal matrix. Now what you do with this thing is you just craft it with the thing we made last time. And we have our dimensional storage actuator. And all we gotta do is craft these two things together. And we have a dimensional storage actuator. We're gonna pop it down right here. Now this thing is, is wonderful by itself. 
it can hold you know it looks like a good amount of different things 0 0.3 filled it does have a kind of a stack thing going on but the stacks are more than you know 64 what we want is to be able to access this thing remotely the first thing we're going to need is an other stone tablet so can i make this stuff in a stone cutter nah <laughs> that's too bad all right we'll have a little more than we need here but there's another stone tablet what we want to do with it is first make an inert storage accessor. That's going to take five stone buttons and three gold. And then we're going to have to earn it. That will also be done in Strigiors. Oh, we're going to need ender pearls. Dang it. So we will need ender pearls and some more diamonds to proceed. Uh, we're also going to need some blaze powder, so we're going to have to make a more serious exploration of the nether, but I think that's going to have to wait until the next episode. But thanks so much for watching. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.